Hello, 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 everyone. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. If you all are interested in a personal reading, the information will be posted below. And please, if you haven't already done so, like I always say, make sure you um, hit the like button and also make sure you hit the bell button so you can be reminded when I do post new videos. So this video, Leo, would be... Uh, for the singles, it's going to be a singles love reading. It's going to be a um, collective love reading, but it's also going to be a timeless love reading for you single Leos out there, okay? So I'm going to start shuffling here. Give me a clear and concise message for the people who are single, the Leos. Clear and concise message for single Leos when it comes to love, okay? What is in your love life, Leos? What is in your love life? For the Leo collective, okay. Timeless reading for the love life of the Leo, okay. First card I have here is reconciliation. So you're about to reconciliate with someone uh, from your past. Uh, I'm also getting reconciliate with yourself for whatever that read. That came out came out almost immediately. So is there something you need to forgive yourself for? Uh, don't. Um, don't hold things in, you know, don't blame yourself when, because things didn't work out the way you wanted it to, whether it's with this particular person or whether it's with someone else. Don't limit yourself because you've been hurt or because you don't trust the power of the divinity, okay? Trust in your own, um, lean not into your own understanding, okay? So is there going to be some kind of reconciliation with you, Leo, and probably someone else from your past because this person uh, is returning to your life, Okay? And I'm also getting you returning to who you are, who you're who you were meant to be. You're finding it's like you are finding yourself all over again. You're getting a, a message to focus on you too. Focus on you, not just this person that's coming back into your life, but focus on you too. Okay, I have your playfulness. Okay, playfulness. Um, I'm going to read the book on this, this playfulness card for you. It says to recapture. The romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to uh, shine. Okay, so I'm going to read playfulness. Okay, the, ro the romance angels are cherub cherubs who embody all things romantic and who have a happy, youthful sense of playfulness. They delight in the wonders of love and ask you to do the same. The angels want you to fall want to help you fall back in love with life again by guiding you to enjoy yourself. This comes from a spirit of joy and adventure. The angels ask you, for whoever's watching this love reading, uh, Leo, when was the last time you had fun? If you don't remember, then, the, then it's long overdue for you to add some play time into your schedule. The angels say that fun is a necessity, not a luxury. The activity can be free of charge, such as exploring nature, auditioning for local theatrical production, joining a community sports team, or trying something new. Playfulness is a good investment of your time, as it will renew your energy levels and elevate your mood. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was saying here about you reconciling with yourself. This message is, is good for you, Leo, because it's, for, for, it's forcing you to um to remember who you are to remember your divinity this is what i was saying this goes beyond just a, a regular love reading you uh god is trying to get you to remember to love yourself too go out and have fun have a good time don't be stuck up in the house or anything like that focus on yourself too and this is probably how you're going to end up running back into this ex okay going out and being grounded in yourself loving who you are first before you begin to start loving this person who's coming back into your life okay so do, do you first, Leo, forgiving and learning. Yeah, this this is, is something really going on with you that you really need to uh, focus on yourself, uh, everything. Uh, focus on yourself. Focus on forgiving. Like I said earlier, learn how to reconcile with what it is that's going on inside of you so you can heal whatever's going on in your past with this person, whatever's going on in your relationship with your family and friends. Learn how to forgive so you can uh, reconciliate yourself to being happy. To being to being happy and, and spending more time playing and having a good time and not being so uh, alone all the time. 
choosing to be alone. Okay. What other message do you have before I love? And I'm getting chills. So this is a, a a definite message for you if you're if this message resonates with you, Leo. Okay. What other messages do you have in this love reading for Leo that Leo needs to know? Okay, trust, trust, okay? Uh, this situation is calling you <clears throat> to trust and have faith in this situation that whatever happens in your life from this point on, Leo, have faith that this is something, this is the this is heaven sent to you. This is something that God wants you to have and wants you to realize. He wants you to start with you. Uh, charity begins at home and spreads abroad. Uh, that came out perfectly clear for you. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, I don't, I just, it just happened. Uh, charity begins at home and spreads abroad. They want you to definitely, and definitely remember that. Okay. I even, um, I'm even getting like, I'm going to say it again. And then I want to say something after. So don't be offended. Charity. Uh, begins at home and spreads abroad and this is something that's co is coming clear even if you have to um, play with yourself in order to feel that pleasure okay this, that's just what I heard okay even if you have to masturbate to feel that release okay so take it how it resonates with you it's all about you Leo it's all about Leo it's all about your inner strength showing out and and, and stepping out and having a good time but it starts with you how are you going to tell somebody how to please you if if you don't if you're too afraid to tell them where your spot is? Okay, it's all about you, Leo. It's all about you. Loving yourself first. Okay, you're getting some very useful information here. Tonight, okay, I have here getting to know each other. You want to get to know yourself first. It starts at home. It's for us abroad. Okay, getting to know yourself better. Okay. And no matter what you go through or who you go through, get to know yourself better so you can go out and chill out with this person when they come into your life. As you reveal your inner selves to each other, your bond with this person is going to is going to deepen because they, he or she, is going to come back into your life and say, "Wow, something is different about you. Something has really grown with you. Uh, you you've grown up. You've probably gotten a little bit older and a lot more." wiser and this person is picking up on this and this is probably something that you lacked in the past leo which is why this person is coming back to your life okay <clears throat> yeah this could be the one this person that's coming back into your life uh, realize that this person is probably the one for you leo um you've already met the, the romantic partner you see you all just happen to be separated at the moment okay but there's going to come a reconciliation with each other and even if you're not separated you all are going to reconcile your relationship it's like balancing up balancing a bank uh a bank account everything is just going to fall into place okay so i have attraction oh and wedding i have attraction and i have wedding uh attraction you attract love by enjoying the moment fully so enjoy yourself fully with this person even if you're sitting out at a bar by yourself here, Leo, and you sipping on some Hennessy and Coke or, or, or a bloody margarita or whatever it is you're drinking, this person may walk up on you and see how attractive you are and remember the things that you all share with each other and, and, and how beautiful and, and feminine or, or handsome they thought you were. Take it how it resonates with you. And they're going to picture you walking to the, walking down the aisle to them or, or you're going, they're going to picture you walking toward them. At, at the wedding take it how it resonates okay and this situation will involve marriage more than likely work on yourself first here okay leo and everything else will fall into the to, to the place even if it means you having to please yourself okay it's all about pleasing you first it's all about your your femininity or masculinity first okay you all have a dynamic chemistry with one another a chemistry that that uh it's nothing, nothing, nothing falters this chemistry. And it's like you are almost afraid of this person, this person's power or vice versa when you got with them the first time. OK, because you all had such an, a, a magnetic uh, attraction and chemistry that, that it was kind of overwhelming. There was a, a strong and magnetic attraction here. Yeah, you definitely still have that magnetic attraction with one another. And it may possibly lead to a wedding for you all. Okay? But you have to work on yourself first. Work on your, your self-esteem. Work on your confidence here, Leo. And that's in everything. Not just your relationship but with others, but relationship with yourself, your family, your, your friends, with everything. It's like everything, everything 
everything in your life right now, Leo, uh, needs a little tweaking, okay? I have here passion. You all are very passionate with one another, but be passionate with yourself first so you can let this person know how to please you, okay? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. When you lay down with this person or when you laid down with this person in the past, they gave you a lot of pleasure and it helped you made you happy it made you very very joyful but i don't think the first time around when you were with this person that that you were pleased 100 percent because you were so uh worried about you in the bedroom worried about how this person saw you or worried about if you were pleased you were, you were more concerned with this person's being pleased than you were uh, to allow your than you were in allowing yourself to be pleased this is why this self this self health this self care stuff is coming out for you here, Leo, in this reading. Take care of yourself first. Realize that you deserve to be passionate. You deserve to let loose in the bedroom. You can be a, a, a lady in the street and a freak in the bedroom, okay? Be a lady in the street, freak in the bedroom. Love yourself first, but also allow yourself to be loved. Allow yourself um, to be pleased. And allow yourself to have an orgasm, okay? If you haven't had one before or, or if you think you've had one and it just passed you up, hey, explore your body and learn how it feels to have an orgasm and learn how to figure out when it's about to happen so that can carry over into your passionate relationship with this person that's coming back from your past. Love yourself first. Um, practice loving yourself intimately, okay? And I'm going to close this reading out with one more. Card. This is a love reading for the collective for the Leo. It is a uh, timeless reading. So whenever you see this this video, Leo, it's something that you need to see when you need to see it, the time you need to see it. Okay. Final part I have here. You're you want to reconciliate with your uh your past relationship here very soon. Okay. Very soon, Leo. And it says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Think about what you want. Think about what you don't want. So when you run into this person haphazardly, they're going to remember you. They're going to remember how it was to be with you. And you all are going to reconcile the situation, reconcile the relationship. Okay. And you all are going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations about what you did wrong, about what you're going to do in your new found loving and caring relationship that may lead to marriage. Okay, Leo, I hope this message resonates. You all have a great time and I will see you all in another reading and good luck.